Good afternoon, everyone. It feels a little early, uh, just five games into the season, to be calling this a must-win. But after four defeats to open the campaign, Russell Martin's side need to start picking up points sooner rather than later. And today's clash with Ipswich will have been firmly circled and underlined in Southampton's calendar. It looked like a fairly obvious handball from Flynn Downs, and Burns has picked it up 30 yards from goal. It's going with the floating cross, and it's going to be tapped. Oh, just why, but what a chance. It dropped over the head of Jan Bednarek. And at the near post, from our angle, it looked fairly close, but on second viewing, Aaron Ramsdale wasn't troubled. Southampton, a couple of short passes, they're driving forward now with Fernandez. He's pulled back and then goes for the crossfield switch to Fraser. Up against Juan Zabi, left corner of the penalty area. Takes on his man, left-footed cross into the middle, and it's just about hack clear, but only still along the byline. And Southampton now pick it up in the penalty area. Fernandez, edge of the penalty area now is Lalana. Tries to drive it into Dibbling. Great feet, Dibbling scores! Sends Vierich the wrong way. Lalana opened up the Ipswich defence and he's got his first senior goal, Tyler Dibbling. Southampton 1, Ipswich 0. What a good ball from Lalana and that's why, in my eyes, he should uh, play for this team because he can tread passes like no one else. Dibbling already made a run, Lalana treads it through. Perfect first touch for Dibbling and then. Brilliantly, it just side puts it in into the side of the net, and it's one nil. Good start by Dibbling. Antoine Zebe now on this right hand side, up towards halfway, tries to set Burns away down the right. He's up against Taylor, making his first Premier League start for Southampton in for Carl Walker Peters. Antoine <coughs> Zebe. Morsey on the edge of the box as it switch work it to Burns. Cuts back onto his left foot. It's a deep cross towards the post. Free header, and it's straight at Aaron Ramsdale, who plucks it out of the sky. But it was Smodix who had really about 10 yards around him just to hit that header. And really, Joe, that's either side of Ramsdale. We're looking at one all. Yeah, but uh, it was offside, uh, Tommy. It would have been offside. The linesman also flagged it. It was quite, I, I looked at it, it was quite clear for me that it was an offside. Twanzebi in the right back position, forward to Morsey. And now as Ipswich will come forward at pace yet again. Tries to thread it to the middle to Schmodix. And it almost goes through to Delap, but it'll come back to Schmodix. Takes a touch onto his left foot. Diving challenging, does the ball go out of play? It does. Fourth corner, and Ipswich, with just a few passes, almost found themselves through on goal. Yeah, a little pass, quick play from uh, Morsi in the middle, and one touch pass into the pathway of the Ipswich players. And now Smodix into Delap. Heavy challenge from Jan Bidnarek. Fair, says Sam Allison. And Southampton try and get it in behind with Archer. And Archer, he's through on goal. Can it be two? Round the goalkeeper. Archer! Oh, it hits the post and the rebound is going to be launched on by Murich as Matthias Fernandez was steaming in from six yards out. Cameron Archer with a glorious opportunity, but he took it too far wide, Joe, and took the pace out of the ball. Yeah, he, uh, what happens is he makes a brilliant run between the two uh, centre-halves, uh, O'Shea and Greaves, and goes past the keeper, tries to sneak it in from uh, between the defenders and uh, hits the post. Should have been 2-0. Once again, the Egyptian works it out towards the right-hand side. Twanzebe and Fraser go foot to foot, and the Scot doesn't win it at the second attempt, but he certainly just delays Ipswich a little bit with Twanzebe down the right-hand side. But he's up quickly off the floor. Hutchinson will cut in onto his left foot. Oh, and Lee Davis is in acres of space at the back post. Brilliant stop by Ramsdale at his near post. Yeah, and the only time uh, maybe Tyler Dibling fell asleep a little, a little bit light. Leif Davis comes on the back post, it's crossed in from the right-hand side. Davis again with the delivery, it's headed up in the air towards the back post by Sugawara. And again, Charlie Taylor taking no chances and heading it out of play for yet another corner. Remember, get your texts and tweets in to Wildo Hutchinson on the edge of the back boxes. Ipswich goes short, that's a driving effort, what a stop from Aaron Ramsdale. It was bending towards the top right corner, and it's a fine double-handed save by Southampton stopper. You can see the tempo has dropped a lot since there. Uh... Nice drop of the shoulder from Flynn Downs, and he tries to feed it through into the penalty area, and Archer has got it. Can he go get past Murich? He can't. It goes out of play for the first Saints corner of the afternoon. Hasn't fallen for Archer so far this game, and that was close. Brilliant play, Lalana into Flynn Downs, who turns on the half turn, drives forward, plays it in there, a forward running Archer, very good run Archer, strong, quick, 
gets the ball between the two centre half Greaves and O'Shea on the zone with the keeper, maybe a little bit close and tries to toe pog it in. Here come it, switch and they feed it through to Schmodix. Low ball and it's hit the it's hit the side netting. The Ipswich fans on that side of the pitch thought it had gone into the back of the net, but their cheers were extinguished after just a couple of seconds. Sammy Schmodix does not have his second goal of the season. A couple of step overs forward and Southampton just managed to hold Ipswich at arm's length, but now it's given to Morsey, who's really been given freedom to come forward and that push in the back is actually legal to Sam Allison and it's a brilliant ball over the top to Fernandez into the box Fernandez with the strike across the face of goal and it's missed oh Joe I think he's made the wrong option he had an opportunity to shoot on the left corner of the six yard box and instead he's tried to play it across the face of goal I think to Cameron Archer Harwood Bellis is able to pick up the loose ball Sugawara, lovely feed into the box to Fernandez across the face of goal, first time from Brereton Diaz and he has skied that, what an opportunity that was for the Chilean to notch his first Southampton goal of the season Leif Davis, long throw into the box Southampton, can they deal with it, Bednarek with a thumping header out towards this near side but Ipswich are going to come again with Jack Taylor and he's threaded it down the left side of the box to Jack Clark Quick feet, scoops it towards the back post, had a brilliant stop again from Ramsdale, tips it over the bar, it was straight at him, but he had to react quickly and gets high fives from his defence and applause round St Mary Stadium as he just saved three points for Southampton. Everyone stays back for Southampton, the arm goes up from Davis again, oh it's in towards the six yard box, headed out by Brereton Diaz, Morsey, edge of the penalty area, strikes it top corner, what a goal, and Ipswich have stolen a point at St Mary's, they did it at Portman Road through Jeremy Sarmiento and Sam Morsey has struck it brilliantly past Aaron Ramsdale from the edge of the D and broken Southampton hearts Southampton won, Ipswich won corner defended well it goes off to Morsey brilliant first touch you cannot do anything with it it just pings it pings it into the top corner Ramsdale has no chance and it's 1-1 in the 95th minute uh, Tom I feel for the boys, this is not what they needed today. Ipswich have got themselves a free kick, which they take short. Sam Morsey, the referee, puts the whistle to his lips, brings things to an end, and Southampton were only moments away from their first three points of the season. But Ipswich have done it again. They've broken their hearts in the final minutes of the game.